Hi, Dave here at Photokina. I'm just walking around uh, one of the halls and stumbled across this incredibly interesting booth called Panono. I've met up with uh, Julie here. Julie, please tell me what is Panono and uh, yeah, what's this product? Um, well, Panono is the producer of this product. It's the Panono camera. It's a 360 photo camera, basically. Um, it is shaped like a ball, obviously. You have 36 single lenses covering each angle and they all trigger simultaneously. Um, to capture a high resolution uh, still photo. We have 108 uh, megapixels total resolution, so it's basically the highest resolution you can get on the market at the moment. Um, yeah, and it's a great way to capture authentic images in 360. Um, if you take a picture, you trigger once, so all the lenses uh, trigger simultaneously, and what happens then is you upload them to our uh, cloud service, so we have a Panono cloud service online, you have an account there and you upload the 36 single images and they are stitched together by our own software into one seamless 360 image. Which then, you, of course, you can always access online so you don't have to download um, or transfer a big amount of uh, data. And you can, of course, also download um, the, the stitched image as a JPEG. So it's an equi-rectangular standard format for 360 content. Um, you could put it on a VR gear. You could print it out, so you have a lot of stuff to do with these images. Very interesting, and um, I mean, basically it looks like a football. <laughs> um, you say it's, it's stills only, so there's no video capability at the moment, or is that something you're working on? Or uh, That's correct, it's a photo that we're focusing on, um, because it allows us to actually provide this high resolution. If you compare it to other products on the market, they usually do both but the resolution and the image quality is not the same. So we really want to have like uh, professional content and a high quality. So that's why we are saying just photo. So there are no, no plans at the moment for video. And where do you see this being used? You said, uh, you said it produces authentic images. Where, do you, where is it currently being used? Where do you envisage 360 is going? Why are we seeing so much 360? Um, like Panola has uh, customers both B2B and B2C. And so it's basically 50-50 at the moment. And I think um, what's most important for us or most interesting for us is the content being used by, uh, for professional applications. So there are a lot of sectors that are interested in 360 content at the moment as far as we can tell, uh, from real estate to tourism, insurances for example, like if you want to document um, uh, damages. Like it gives you a very authentic way to document um, situations, to, to document places. And I think that's uh, where the potential lies. Okay. Um, just coming back to the camera, 108 megapixels storage. Um, is it inbuilt storage? Is it removable? How's, how does that back end of it work? Uh, it's 108 megapixels, mix, megapixels total resolution. Uh, you have an internal storage of 16 gigabytes, which means you could store up to 400 panoramas, depending on uh, if you are taking images in HDR or not. You can do HDR with our camera as well. Of course, then it would be a li little less. Um, yeah, so, so 16 gigabytes. Is that an automatic HDR? We just like set, set HDR in a control app and then hit go? Or? Um, we provide an app, so there's a Panono mobile app, which allows you not only to preview the images before they are uploaded and stitched, um, so you can see unstitched versions of the images you just uh, took. Uh, you can also change the camera settings, so you have certain options to, you know, to adjust to the moment where you're in uh, that you're in. For example, you could change the uh, the aperture um, from auto to manual. You could change the ISO. You can switch on HDR and switch it off, of course, because it doesn't always make sense. Um, so there are certain certain settings you can uh, adjust in advance. Perfect. And how, it, it's a ball, how are we mounting it? Uh, what's our mounting solution? Yeah, so uh, we have a little cap here. This is uh, uh, where you charge it. So it's a USB charge, a uh, USB uh, port. And this is basically also where you mount it. So we, we provide uh, some accessories. There is a tripod adapter to mount it on any uh, standard tripod. We also have a tripod um, up in the offer now or a selfie stick and basically what you do is you screw those those parts in and then adjust them. It's just one loop basically. Okay. Um, you said uh, USB rechargeable, what's the battery life like? Is it, you know, is, are we going to take a couple of pictures and then have to go recharge it or are we going to be able to shoot for an extended period of time? It really depends on the situation that you're in because like for example if you're triggering remotely using the app 
course, it's uh, it's different than when you trigger manually using a selfie stick. So I would say you can uh, nicely take pictures for half a day before, you, like if you're constantly taking pictures, um, before you have to recharge it. But I would recommend, like if you're taking pictures um, and there are some some breaks, turn it off at that moment. So we will. What we're currently doing is. Uh, Working on a version or on a firmware update that allows you, or that will, that uh, allows for the camera to be uh, turned off automatically when it's not being used up, like all the time. And when you're, uh, you said you, you have an app for controlling it. Is that Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or? It's Wi-Fi. Yeah. So um, yeah, there's a Wi-Fi connection. But basically, you communicate with the smartphone. The com smartphone communicates with the camera. This is how you can also download the raw files to upload them to the cloud. Um, but in our new firmware version, uh, it's also possible to download with USB as well. So you have both options. Okay, and uh, finally, the, the thing that everyone wants to know is uh, price and availability. When can, when can we get them and how much are they going to cost? Uh, the Panono camera is 1500 at the moment, so 1499 It's available in our online shop. Um, and it's, yeah, available now. So basically, if you order now, you can order with express shipping. And uh, yeah, it should be only a few days to the UK, say three, um, until you get the product. Um, accessories are excluded in that, like not part of the price. Um, if you use our cloud service, that's for free. The stitching is free and the mobile app as well. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Um, very interesting product. I'm thank you. very curious to have a go with it. I've done a bit of 360, but this looks like a, a real step up. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for showing us your product.